everyone, Life DIY Josie here, where life stands for low budget ideas for everyone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be working on my pantry. It's a work in progress. I've showed this already to you last time, but right now I think there's still room for improvements. Over time, of course, due to usage and daily life, sometimes I need to reconfigure or improve on things. For example, I really love how these containers work right now where I could put things there, like the reusable items, the boxes that I can just pull out like a drawer system. However, I still want to make them more efficient. And today in this video, I also want to improve on the look and also use the unused or wasted space above here. This one, it's too far back and that's my main issue there. Sometimes it's hard to reach things and the tendency is when we put things in the front, it'll cover the ones at the back. So I wanna use the wasted space above and implement a more vertical way of organizing things. I will still reuse containers that I have here. I really like how they work out and then make it really more cohesive and beneficial and also functional for our daily needs. Like for example, this one, I really like this clear container that I got for free. It was a container for Madeline cookies from Costco. So I don't know if you're familiar and because it is a clear container, I can see exactly what's inside. And you know, you can buy a comparable acrylic container from retail shops and they are so expensive. So what I'm gonna do here is utilize another freebie. It's actually a packaging from the manufacturer. And it used to contain beef and short rib lasagna that they sell at Costco. They do not throw away these boxes. They give them away to the shoppers and instead of packing the items in paper bags or plastic bags, they just have people put the things that they shopped inside the big boxes like this that used to contain the items that they were selling. So what I've noticed on this one, the back is very, very neutral, like I said earlier. I wanna use the vertical space, but not only that, I wanna beautify things, make them more cohesive, and of course, aside from aesthetically pleasing to the eyes, I want them to be also functional. And I'm just gonna be removing the things first and clean this up. So the first iteration here, I was thinking, use the back of the packaging and it is already neutral. It's like white container, right? That it is free and I didn't spend anything. However, I really want to use that space on the top because that is wasted space that I can utilize. And instead of putting things in the front, I will put things on the top. So instead of me putting this boxes that I created from the last episode, and I'm going to be linking it in the upper right hand corner or in, in video link and in the description box, that video, I'm going to relate it to this video because I don't want to sh show you how I did that because you can do that even with a simple as a shoe box if you want to. So like I said, I want to utilize this top portion here and use this box instead of utilizing it right side up, I'm going to be using it upside down like this. It's like a desktop organizer. It's going to be more elevated. I'm going to use it to create kind of like a two-tier organizer. So what I'm going to do here is trim the front where in this one that has the, the print, I will cut it off. So from end to end. Now what I'm going to do is leave a little bit of it so that I can have a good finish because the inside of this has a white finish so that the flap that I'm cutting off, I'm leaving half an inch that I can fold so that it will have like a white frame or finish. And I'll show it to you. It's better to show than to explain it in words. So now that I've cut the part where there are printed See, that's the fold that I'm making, the half an inch fold, so that the hollow part where I cut from won't show up and it will have a better and more finished look. And I'll do the same 
on the opposite side. So I'm just going to be putting a packaging tape because it's more durable. The ones that are used for shipping boxes and I'm just going to be using a piece that is the same length as the cut to finish it off. And instead of hot gluing, I opted for a packaging tape so that it finishes it off and protects also that edge. So I'll do it also on the other side. It's already looking good, especially folding those edges with the white finish made it look good. However, I noticed that the top is a little saggy. So one solution would be instead of putting the containers at the center where it's a little weaker, put them towards the side, especially the heavier ones. I like these containers a lot because they're see-through. I don't need to label them all the time. These are the soup stock containers from restaurants that serve soup and these are their to-go boxes like the Chinese or Vietnamese restaurants they have them and I love it that we're able to keep our food there and then once done I rewash them reuse them and what I've noticed of course because it's a weaker middle portion what I'm doing here as a solution is all those ones that are heavier I will put them on the edges okay so from the left and the right and the back because they have the bottom support and then the lighter ones will be at the center so that's the first solution that I can suggest however sometimes those containers all of them will be equally heavy so this solution may not be for all year round so only when you have lighter candies that are not filled up in the container and also cereals that are not filled up you see here this is the exact height that i like utilizing the vertical space so not only am i putting one layer of the to-go containers i'm also using the upper portion so that i can have more containers with either cereals or oats or candies snacks because i have a lot of these containers so i see this as a solution that i am going to be implementing i am going to be putting something at the center as a center divide to strengthen the middle portion later on these are the two boxes that i diy'd and i'm gonna make them like a drawer style solution i noticed that the boxes i made are a little higher so that's why they're not going all the way through so I will have to make some cuts. So first I'm going to be marking where I'm going to be cutting to make sure that I have enough clearance for these boxes to go through. And then I will also make a little bit of adjustment so that I can also protect the items that I'm going to be putting in so that they don't fall off the back. As you can see, there's no backing. So I'm going to make the adjustments, cut it, and then use the cut portion to be the protective backing so that the contents will not spill off when I do a push and pull of the drawers. Again, to simplify everything, if you have two empty shoe boxes or any type of box that will fit in, use them. I'm just using the one that I DIY'd from one full Amazon shipping box and I made them into two. So this is the mark. I am cutting it to the height or the size that's ideal for my space. And then instead of throwing away the portion that I will also use this to be the backing of this box so that the contents will not spill out. I have repeated the same step for the other box so both boxes are identical. I'm just going to connect them with the flap towards the inside so that it will be neater and more durable in my opinion. I will just be using masking tape or packaging tape and if you want to use hot glue you can do that too so that you can reinforce it that way. And here they are after I have applied the packaging tape. So just one 
on each end and they're hidden anyway so you, you wouldn't be able to see them and there they are equal in height and equal in width so identical and I can use them now to organize my pantry items so I'm going to be perusing the packaging materials also of the individual items that I'm going to be using. As you can see here, I'm going to be trimming the flaps of some of the smaller boxes that contain some of the items like this single packs oats so that I can make them as dividers within the boxes. And I'll leave you with some music. Just watch what I'm doing in organizing this drawer style system boxes. I don't like seeing sagging so I can elevate that with some more cardboard or support since I have the space in the middle anyway so that I can have like a divider to do that now I'm gonna use this put this more front and this one towards the back this is the right height to put it up like that to elevate it yeah there you go so let me just tape it I can put this like this This I can adjust it if I need to. Without it, look, it sags, right? But now I can raise it. And that's the cardboard. I didn't have to buy anything else. And then I'm just gonna put this other one. And I may need to put something more permanent, another cardboard there. But I'm just trying to see. Yeah, so at least just to support the middle. I wanna put this here to kind of anchor it. Okay, see? I'm going to lift it and it's going to be the anchor there. Yep. Much more stable. It doesn't sag anymore. Uh, they're bag items. Just want to make sure that I can fit them underneath. supplies then I can just corral this here since this one fits here too I can put this here so this is what it looks like and it looks so neat have all these containers here and I've rearranged them even use some practical labeling style for those that may be confusing for us and then those that are okay to identify without the labels we just left them like that and then we have the tea here the nacho cheese sauce snacks and some more snacks <laughs> here 
okay that i arranged and i love this container like i said these are containers from costco for the madelines and then this is the nature valley box that i diy and then this is a gift a box of mixed arabic tea i don't want to waste the space here say if i put this closer then i will be pulling it out like this and then i would have to balance it and i may drop things and the good thing about this it has the space for me to pull out and then i can leave it there and then especially when i'm refilling things and then i can put it back neatly as well see yep. all of this this is zero dollars didn't cost me anything those empty containers are free from the restaurant those containers the packaging are free all of these are free and i have a very nice and neat organization up there now the bottom part i just need to kind of reinforce it okay so it shouldn't be probably as time consuming i have these chewy protein bars and as i have mentioned before i don't mind using the box as is. i don't need to reverse them because they're the actual contents so if i'm just going to use it for another item for example if i have an empty box like this then i need to organize this then i can reverse it you can reverse the amazon boxes if you do not like the look of the amazon logo like that arrow there but if you're using multiples and they look similar so it's cohesive so for me it doesn't really matter so like i said you can reverse it or i have a quick fix for it and i will show you what i'm gonna do in a little bit so as far as organizing this middle shelf here for our pantry i don't need to change anything i don't need to reconfigure anything i'll just spruce it up a little bit the same thing with the very bottom shelf because I really wanted to use the Amazon boxes because they allow me to just easily pull out the box and get things, you know, and then push them back inside, especially the heavy stuff that are at the very bottom shelf where they're mostly the drinks that we have been keeping there as our supplies. So I'm just going to be sprucing up a bit the bottom organization and improving it a bit. And this came like this. When you purchase these Celsius drinks, they're standing up inside their packaging. So what I'm trying to do here is making it more efficient in a way for my organization. So instead of them standing up, I'm putting them laying down like this so that when I take them one at a time, it will kind of be a dispenser. I'll just put it on top of this soda can dispenser that I reuse the packaging again. They may be mixed flavors, but I don't mind. And I put the one that I just rearranged again in, to kind of mimic the position of the one at the bottom. But I made sure that there's an overlap so that I can reach for the items at the bottom, the drinks at the bottom, without me moving the ones at the top. Now, here's a simple solution. If you do not like to see the arrow, the Amazon logo, you just cut a piece of cardboard. Or what I've done is the flap of this box, I cut it and it's the same size, the height and width. So I just applied hot glue and attached it to the front. I will repeat the same process to the one on the left. I'm so proud of this one, although it's simple that anybody can do it. nothing complicated on this one. And I like also that I was able to neutralize the three boxes, two at the bottom and then the one at the middle, the three Amazon boxes, making them more neutral in look pleasing to the eyes. I know a lot of you like that aesthetics and I didn't have to spend money on it. 
I have a couple of bonus ideas here that I want to add to this video. I want to utilize the pantry doors in organizing things. I'm going to be using this double-sided clear adhesive tape to mount some of the items that I want to organize to maximize my pantry space. Since I have enough clearance between the door and the shelves, I can mount this box of freezer bags, the resealable freezer bags. I will be placing a couple of strips of the double-sided adhesive tape and then I'm going to be adhering this box to the inner part of the door. I want to use this as a support. It closes properly and there's enough clearance. Love it. I have an idea on how I am going to use this portion here as well as this hook here. I will be using two empty cans of Spam. I've already removed the label and because there are some goo, I would like to remove the goo. And here's an extra bonus tip for you in order to remove it properly, aside from just washing it with, let's say, dishwasher soap or detergent, what I'm gonna do is applying some oil and then let it sit there. If you can, let it sit for an hour or two and then just rub it with a napkin that has been soaked with some more oil and then it can remove the goo. You don't have to buy an extra solution just to remove the goo, just like this one. To remove the grease and additional gunk, I'll just wash it with some warm water and soap and then just rinse it carefully and thoroughly. And then I'm also drying it thoroughly with a towel. So removing the grease would ensure that the double-sided tape will adhere properly to the can. So I'm just gonna be cutting a couple of strips again to adhere to the back side of this can. In order for me to estimate better where I'm going to be mounting the can, I am going to be placing the item that I am organizing inside in an upright position so that if I fill it up, then I won't be surpassing the height of the door. I'm going to put the second can below it. So I'm going to do the same thing here. For the other one so it's always best to have the item that you're organizing so that you know exactly how much clearance or where to position it so i'm putting it here and i have to also make sure still that it doesn't go to where it aligns to the shelf otherwise it won't close so i still need to make sure that this is above the shelf and just kind of Estimate or check it that it's straight. Okay, if, as long as I'm satisfied that it's straight, then I'm going to press it. See how careful I am with the sharp edge there? And I like that I'm using this demarcation, this, this framing here as my guide to secure it in place. Oop. That's okay if you feel that at least it's pinching, it's pressing against it. And then now I'm going to put this chicken flavor. 
So I got the tuna flavor and then I got the chicken flavor as well. See? There you go. And then what I can do with this, this is not totally going to be useless because I like cutting it and opening it, the, the squeeze. I will use these scissors here now. They're now together. And then I will put the garlic on the other side of the cabinet here. To use the existing hook here try closing it so again like i said you have to avoid the shelf and you see this has about three or four inches above the shelf so i have enough clearance and it closes well and this one is below the shelf about two two inches two inches below or two and a half inches below so that's why it still has enough clearance. And of course, because I have this space, it's now used up by this one hanging on the door. At the same time, it doesn't block the ones that I have here. So that's what I like about the system here. Utilizing this sort of unused or wasted space and make use of it as additional place to organize things. Love it. That's it everyone. Thanks for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It surely helps my channel. And also thank you for spending time with me again as I rearrange and organize my things. Have a great day everyone. I'll talk to you again on my next video. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.